Welcome back to Exit 45 Restorations. Today, we're going to go ahead and get started on the hood and the trunk. So we're going to do the body work, starting with grinding her down to metal, and we'll work our way up from there. Come on, let's get done. All right, well, it looks like the labor finders brought my help. It's always disappointing, but you do with what you got. Let me, let me show you what, what they sent out this time. Yep, there's, there's what labor finder sent me. It's going to be a long day. All right, so looks like my parents came to visit and are going to help out. So now i got to find something for us all to do. Let's see what I got. Kids, today we're going to have fun with acid. Time for some acid. Not the purple rain kind. we go we got the top side of the hood all the way down it came out really good a couple of small areas you can see that right there a little crease we'll work on that um, everything else looks really good it's it's protected right now uh, gave it a good acid bath and then followed that up with some vinegar looks really good and then over here on the trunk, we gave it a, an acid bath to kind of eat up as much of that rust as we could. We got most of it. And I will hit this with a sander and then we'll treat it one more time with the acid. So we're just about there on the hood and the, and the trunk. So we're moving along. All right, that's it for today. I'm done, it's been a long day. Uh, but we'll be back at it.
All right, so my brother Pat, say, hey, <laughs> he finished. Did a good job, so we're ready to go ahead and get some acid on this. We'll get the last bit of whatever may be on it off, and then we'll go ahead and get the metal protected as well. All right, let's get at it. Got my gloves. All right, we got the acid all done. You can see it's cleaned it up pretty good. So next step is my uh, assistant over here is going to, doing his best Vanna, is going to, uh, we're going to go ahead and get some vinegar on here, and that will neutralize the acid, and then this metal will be protected until we're ready to paint. So uh, we'll set you back down, and we'll get that done. I'm going to rinse it off first, get most of the acid off, and then we'll neutralize it. All right, so we're going to rinse it off again. And once we're done rinsing it, we want to dry it off, get the water off as fast as we can because uh, if we leave the water on, it just starts to kind of turn like an orange. So uh, we're going to get this rinsed off and then dry it off and it'll be ready to go. Okay, let's get you in here and let you take a look at this. It came out really good. Look how nice and clean the metal came out. It really didn't take a lot of effort. And now this metal's protected until we're ready to paint it. So I can start doing the body work on it. And uh, I won't have to worry about it flash rusting or anything like that. So you got to love it. Science did that. Science the crap out of it. All right. This is where we're going to leave this one. All right. That's going to be it for, uh, at least for today. For you, it'll be just a few seconds, and uh, we'll be putting some high bill primer. Well, I keep saying high bill primer. Really, we're going to put a little bit of body filler in that high bill primer. All right. That'll be it for today. All right, here we go. So we've got the metal all prepped on the trunk lid, all in good shape. And I have found two areas. That's uh, the only areas I found that really need me to do any kind of body filler. So I'm going to go ahead and hit those areas. All right, I got those. And then there's a couple of areas over here on the hood. I'm going to go ahead and get those. I did it again, didn't I? I walked right in front of you. And right here. Okay. That was really the only uh, the only areas that we had uh, on here was the these two spots and then a the couple spots over there. So the hood and the trunk 
we're in really good shape. All right, let me let this cure up. All right, we got this all set up now and it's ready to sand on the trunk. So let's get this one and then we'll head over and do the, uh, the hood as well. All right. Safety. Good job. All right, let's uh, let's head over to the hood and see if we can't knock down the couple spots that we have there. Come on. Come on. Just grab, grab your drink. Don't forget your drink. Come on. Let's go. All right. Well, I'm glad to see you made it over. Uh, took you a little bit, but eh, you got here. All right, we're going to hit this area first, and we'll get the other side here in a second. So let's get after this one. All right, so on this one, I'm a little low right through here, but really very little. So I think I'm going to be able to get that with the uh, high bill primer. I might hit this one more time, just a little bit right here. It only take a you know a few minutes to do. If I if I got something else where I may I may do that, but for right now, I think I can get that with the high bill primer. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go back here. So, sorry you didn't get to sit for too long. So, come with me, and we'll we'll get the other side. So, just grab your drinks, your snacks, whatever you, whatever you got. Come on this way. Come on, follow me. Easy. There's cords everywhere. Just watch your step. There we go. Made it. All right. There's where we're going to be working right here. All right, so we're going to, just a small dent right in here. We're going to go ahead and get that. All right, so that pretty much wraps up body filler on the hood and the trunk. They're looking pretty good, really. Uh, I think we're ready for high build primer on those. So uh, we're going to move from here to the doors and the fenders. Uh, so let's go ahead and get going on those. All right, well, good morning. We're out here uh, working back on the, the body parts. And what we're working on today is the fenders. So we're going to try and get the little bit of rust that's on those um, from the uh, from me handling them after I did the uh, sandblasting. It was a hot day. It was a sweaty. And yeah, I didn't think about it. I didn't 
go behind and clean them up before I put them away. And they, they, it's just surface rust and it comes right off. A little muriatic acid, I'll wipe it down. It'll protect the metal when I'm done with it. So uh, let's go ahead and get it done. This fender belonged to a 65 Thunderbird. Uh, the original fender on mine was crinkled up here by where the door, the door had gotten into it and crumpled it up pretty good. So I was able to find a, a donor 65 that I was able to get fender and a door uh, from it. So, but it came with a trim package, which mine does not have. So I need to get these off and weld up those holes. And I have no idea how these come off. So this should be fun. Yep. Nope, oh, that was easy. And there's that. You just gotta, I don't know if you can see, let me, let me show you real quick while I'm doing this, but if you look down in here, these two tabs, you just gotta get in between them and spread them apart. If you can, of course, the one I'm trying to show you on doesn't want to play. Yeah, well, that one doesn't want to come apart, but either way, it's, it's getting loose. I think I can get up underneath it and get it. There you go. Okay, so we're going to start on this panel because we've already basically done the whole panel, but there's a couple little areas that uh, need, uh, you know, attention still. And we're going to go ahead and get onto those. So right here's one, right along here. And then there's a couple spots over in here. So I'm going to hit those areas real quick and just work those areas and let them soak. Just like that. Okay. Now we'll go to the other one. On this one, we're going to do the whole panel. It'll help protect the metal from flash rusting and have it ready for primer. It, it actually etches the metal so that you, have good, you can have good adhesion with it. It's like a two for one. You get a two for on this. You get good etching and you get rid of your rust. And usually, you pay extra for that. And then those of you who watch the movie Dodgeball know what I'm talking about. But pretty simple process. We're just going to put some of the acid on. We're just going to let it sit and do its thing. Every once in a while, when it starts to dry up, we'll go ahead and hit it again. And we don't have to... <laughs> we don't have to do it for very long. Um, this muriatic acid works pretty fast. So we've been putting acid on this now for about 20 or so minutes, uh, letting it soak, reapplying it because you don't want it to dry up. So you want to make sure you kind of keep it wet. Uh, the next step is we're going to rinse this off real good. And then once we're done rinsing this off, uh, we're going to go ahead and coat it and let it soak in for just a few minutes in some 30% uh, vinegar. And that will neutralize any acid on it, as well as start that protective layer and coating onto the, uh, uh, the panel itself. So let's go ahead and get that done. All right. And we're just going to take, I'm going to pour a little vinegar on here. And we're going to just wipe that around and neutralize any acid that may be on here. And finish protecting this metal. All right, so we're going to finish this up and then you'll see that that rust is gone. All right, so... Just finish getting this vinegar on here. Get this thing protected. And get the acid off of it. <clears throat> yep, 
I can feel a little burn right there. So I got a little bit of acid on me. Got a little burn going on. It's harmless for the most part. It'll it'll eat your clothes up a little bit, but you probably don't want to get it in your eyes. You know, all those kinds of things. All right. Looks good. All right, so now we're going to rinse it off. All right, so as you can see, the acid and the vinegar have completely stripped this. You're down to very clean metal. And now that we got it like this, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to run all this water off. And we need to dry it because if you let it air dry, it gets this really orange film on it from the vinegar. Okay, so let me go ahead and get a towel and we'll dry this off. All right. All right, you're just, you're not trying to get it completely dry. Just get the bulk of it off. It's always going to turn just a little bit orange, but that's okay. All right. There you go. Uh, that's all you got to do. It's, it's ready. It can sit now for a while. You don't have to worry about it. Uh, that'll be it for this. I think we're going to move on from this to uh, I got a little bit of uh, mudding to do in a few areas, and that'll be the next thing we do. So that'll be it for this. Bye. All right. And so some of you may have noticed that the uh, camera was moving around, and I just want to give a, a shout out and thanks to my dad for hanging out and helping with the camera work. <laughs> thanks, Dad. All right, so, so you can see here I've welded up the three trim holes. There's some pretty good sized booger welds, but they'll do just fine. I'll grind them down. I gotta gotta make sure I keep my body line right here. All right, let's see how they look. Not bad. And look down here, you can see. I was able to maintain that body line for the most part. Now I'm gonna need some body filler to take care of uh, some of the low spots around the welds, but in all, it's pretty good. I've only got one fender that needs uh, any sort of body filler on it. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and get the body filler on it right now and let that set up. Uh, so let me get you guys set up so you can see what's going on. I mean, it's not like you guys haven't seen this already. We've already done it on the car. So we're not going to spend a lot of time on it. Just going to get going on it. All right. Come on. There you go. There you go. So here it is. Uh, got her sanded down pretty good. And these uh, spots are where the uh, trim pieces mounted here. There, and I had to weld up. Um, I had to weld up those holes. Uh, so I'm just using the body filler to kind of bring all that back, nice and flat and smooth, and did a really good job. And uh, one of the things. I want to uh, go over and again, I, I don't know what everybody's level is of what they've done and what they've, you know, know about this, but I've got a, I got a body line that runs right through where those, where those holes were. So when you're sanding on these body lines, you want, you want to move, 
sorry about that you want to move like this up to that body line and then come from the other way up to that body line you just keep going back and forth keeping that that line right through here nice and crisp and then when you're done because this is not you know completely crisp it's uh, rounded then you can come over and just round it a little bit and just just get that shape and there'll be the the final shaping will happen after i put the high belt primer on but anyway i just wanted to just uh, hit that real quick because i don't know you know this may be the only video somebody watches uh before trying to do something on their own and I, i'd feel bad if i didn't at least mention that all right so this one's done uh this fender here uh, doesn't have any issues that I need to do any body filler on it. So this one here is, is ready for high build primer. Just needs to be scuffed down real good, wiped down. And so the fenders are ready for high build primer. Look who I got over here. Look who showed up for a visit. Mom and dad. Yeah. Always good to have them over for a visit. I need to put them to work more. But just... They sit here and watch all day. They don't do anything. I don't know. I'll figure it out. All right, so I'm not sure if you can see the smoke coming up in here. I think you can. Yeah, not doing the brightest thing in the world, am I? Welding on this thing with the door panel still on. And look what I found at the bottom of the door. That could have been a torture. So I'm going to keep an eye on this for a few more minutes. Make sure I don't have anything sparking off. And then I'll wait to finish welding. You, see, you still see this light smoke coming up. Still warm in there. Uh, but I'll, I'll get that all pulled off of there before I go doing any more welding. Yep. Just kind of, you start running before you walk and you, you're going to trip. I'll get back at you when I'm done with that. Well, look who I got today with me. Loki decided to come hang out with me. This is my Lab Beagle mix. I know, weird, weird mix, but we call him for our forever puppy, but he's actually pretty old. We think he's over 10. He's a rescue dog. You see the, <laughs> come here, buddy. Come here. Oh, there you go. You see the gray? Oh, look at all the gray. You're getting to be an old man. He's got a bum leg. He's had it his whole life. Huh, Loki? Yes. Yes, uh-huh. <laughs> I know. Uh, his uh, One of his front legs, the bones didn't grow in right, so they don't really join into his socket, and so it's kind of a really weak leg. We, we did surgery. It didn't take, so... It's kind of how it is but uh yeah all of our animals are rescue yeah you're gonna hang out with me today huh loki oh and loki is a very fitting name for this dog very very fitting houdini should be his second name he's uh <laughs> he's broke out of everything he's ever been in uh trying to kind of hold him down and hold him hold him in uh, he just won't have it, and he gets out, and we really have no idea. I guess we should put a camera on it, but we don't really worry about that anymore. We just let him, let him come out and hang out. Oh, look, we got Pepper and Loki now. Yep. Them two, they haven't figured out how to play together. They want to play, but they just haven't figured it out. You all seen Pepper. Pepper's a, he's a rescue cat, but he is not a rescue from the shelters or anything. Uh, I had a cat uh, here, Loki, you stay here. That was uh, old and he, and he ended up dying. Um, and the very next day, Pepper here came out of the woods while I was working in the yard he was clearly feral. Um, he would hang out 
in the edge of the woods, wouldn't come out. Took, took a long time. Took us about a year to get them, almost a year to get them to come in the house. And you would never know now that he was a, a feral cat. He's living his best life, and so are you, buddy. Yep, so are you. Anyways, he'll be hanging out with me today. All right, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at this cowl now. Uh, it's ready for be stripped down. I'll probably sandblast blast this when I sandblast the doors. But as you can see, somebody looks like they stepped there or they have a knee went into there. I don't know what, but somebody got into it. So I'm going to see if I can't work that out slowly and carefully see if i can't get that fixed all right let's do it all right so let's see what we can get let's just... i know i said let's ease this thing down and then i'm i grab the big big hammer better I need to straighten that one that one's that one's gonna be a, a challenge I'd say that's an old body working trick from my, my days in a body shop, but uh, I've never worked in a body shop. <laughs> but it worked. Oh, I went too far. Bring it back. Bring it back. There it is. Look at that. Look at that. Nice and straight. All right, it's getting there. Keep the, keep something soft on here. Ooh, she just, just went. So she's got a little spring in her. I'm gonna have to figure that out. Hmm. I don't know. Let me get this. All right. So, if you can tell, went. It just bounced the other way so it's this thing's got a little spring back and forth in it looks like um and we're gonna we're gonna go back to the smaller hammer <laughs> You see it just bounced again the other way so this area here has got a little bit of a stretch in it so it's snapping one side or the other we're just gonna have to slowly work that out I guess try to try to get it to straighten back out it's, most of it's gone but that metal just got stretched all right we'll just keep trying to Trying to work it back and forth.
getting there. Getting there. We're almost there, but you can you can see it right there. Yep. All right, you can see it right here, right here, just right through here. Works really good, really good, and then it just a little high, little, and then low, and it's just it's stretched and it's springing back and forth. So, but it's working. Whatever it is I'm doing, it's working. I keep saying it, don't I? It's getting close. <laughs> but it's a really slow process. Really slow process. I don't want to stretch it any more than it already is. So I'm trying to move it really slow. Okay, progress has been made. Look at that. Ah, very nice. Just... And there's a, a slight, uh, just a very slight warp in it still. And I may play with it a little bit more, but I'll be honest with you, I can't see it. I can feel it, but I cannot see it. As you can see, as we look down it, look how nice and straight that is. A lot of patience right there, just a lot of little movements at a time. Because uh, it's just... Uh, that, that metal gets stretched, it gets springy, and you can't bring it all back in at one time. So, looks good though. This thing here is ready to get a little sandblasting. And we'll go ahead and get this uh, ready for paint as well. We're getting close, really close, guys. Really close. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start the sandblasting on these two doors, uh, so we can't get them down to metal, and take care of any body work that I find when I'm doing that. You never know what you're going to find when you strip the paint off. Uh, so, let's, let's do it. Yeah, I don't want to do it either, but I have to. All right, let's do it. You like it? <laughs> Whew. It's a lot of work. Slow going. Nasty. Uh, hey guys. Um, my dad's been helping me film out here while I'm I'm working on this uh, uh, sandblasting. And we were going in to get a get a drink and get a break for a second and he fell on his way going up the ramp and tore his armor pretty bad i gotta take him into the emergency room uh so we'll pick this back up here uh you know another day all right guys so uh got news on my dad everything's okay uh he had uh tore a lot of skin off his arm he's he's got that really thin skin uh that tears really easy and so when he fell uh, it tore a good portion of the skin off of his arm all the way up and down it and uh, it took him a little while at the emergency room to get all that straightened out and get it all put back on taped down and all the, all the crazy stuff they did but uh, good news is he's okay so he's gonna be back out in a couple of days um, you know gonna give it a couple of days to just try to let the swelling go down and all that good stuff and we'll get him back out here he's uh he's already ant you know anxious to get back out here so uh give him a couple days we'll have him back out you know probably not helping as much right away but uh he'll be back out uh anyways i just wanted to uh let you guys know uh that was that was kind of a scary moment and uh but everything's okay all right uh, as far as uh what we're doing here i i'm just now getting back out here to start doing some things. It's been a few days. Uh, so uh, let me show you what we got going on. Well, look who's uh, come out here to hang out with me again today. Loki, the cosmonaut. 
<laughs> his little space suit from his surgery. But as you can see, he's doing pretty good. So he'll be hanging out. All right, let's uh, let's get back to it. All right, so it's a little bit hard to see here, but this panel, door panel, is in really good shape with the exception of right here. And we got some shadows, and I'm sorry. This. Let's see if I can show you. You see it right there. See that crease? It runs up, and it comes right up to here. Good news is I can get to it from the other side, so I think I can work the hammer and dolly and just clean this up enough where I can uh, get some body filler on there and this will disappear and then I can finish uh, I can finish all the sandblasting all right let's uh let's see if we can't work this this out of there I'm getting there. This is starting to come up here. Yep. This one right up here is starting to come. Right through here. I gotta get down here a little bit. It's almost there. All right. All right. Let's just take a look and see where we're at. I don't think you you see that. It's mostly it's just a slight one here. I may try to work that out just a little bit, but. I've got this pretty well back out there. There's a little bit of shaping, but it's getting really hard to, to use the hammer inside here because I just don't have a lot of space. So I'll keep working at it, but yeah, it's pretty close. All right, we'll just take a final look at it here, and it looks pretty good. It's not perfect. You can see a little bit, but it is, it's in pretty good shape and more than, more than close enough for, for putting some mud on there. Okay, we got that. Yeah, that's, that's a little high right there. I'll knock that down. Looks like I knocked that out by mistake. Yep, that's right. I'll knock that back in, but other than that, we're good to go. Let's go ahead and uh, start getting ready for some high build, uh, oh no, not high build, uh, some body mud. Let's, let's see if we can't get some body mud on here. All right, here we go. All right, Loki, what do you think? Huh? What do you think? Yeah? What do you think? Do you think we're done? We think we got it? Huh? Do you think we got it? Do you? Hmm? Yeah? All right, Mr. Spaceman. Huh? Rocketeer. Mr. Rocketeer. All right. All right, guys. I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna stop it here. I just worked it a little bit more off camera, just to take care of a couple of other issues I found that were <laughs> of my own doing. But I fixed them. Uh, it's ready for mud. Uh, I'm gonna do that tomorrow, first thing. So uh, I guess you guys could come join me then. 
All right, so got the doors prepped, they're ready. I just need to do the last little bit of uh, filler. And that should uh, wrap up the filler on this car. So this is where I fix that crease. Here I found a couple of spots right here on this door. This door I thought was in pretty good shape except for having to weld up those trim holes. I found that somebody had already uh, covered up a dent there so this is why I always go down to metal because if the car's not something you've had or you were the last one into it you don't know what's underneath all that so it can be pretty risky doing a scuff and shoot if you don't really know the car so I was, I was fortunate really minor just a little Walmart ding but uh, no big deal uh, so one of the things I haven't really done uh, is I haven't showed you what I use uh, and this is what I'm using here I've, this isn't you know the only thing I ever use but uh, the U-Paul, it's the lightweight gold. You can see the uh, the number there. I like it. Uh, I mean, I've used some other stuff. It's a little bit thicker. This is a little bit uh, thinner, a little bit, a little easier to spread. I, I don't know that there's a difference in the sanding. I, I think they they all just you know got to work at it to get them sanded down. But uh, this one here. Otherwise, I think it spreads on pretty good. So, I mean, I like it. It's not the cheapest, not the most expensive. So, but I thought I'd show you what I'm using. All right, let me get the mud on here and get it sanded. Then I'll show you uh, the end result. And then uh, we're going to wrap up this video. All right. All right, there you have it. I got the mud all spread out on there. This was that crease, and these were the uh, where I welded up the holes for the old trim that was on there. So, all right, I'm gonna get this sanded off, and then I'll bring you back in for that, and we'll wrap this up. All right, here we are. Got it all in, nice and smooth. Looks good. Yeah, it looks good. So we'll uh, we'll work the high build primer next. Do our final shaping, uh, and that'll be it. We'll be ready for some paint. So didn't even take a whole lot of mud to work where that crease was. So I've got most of that out with the metal, which is good. I like to get as much as I can with the metal. So I don't have to use so much body filler. That came out good. All right. There it is. The uh, first day, stage of the body work is done. All right. So we are we're done with the, the body filler, the sanding, and the stripping, and all those things we're pretty much done with the, the majority of the body work uh, we're just down to hide build primer for the final shaping and you know just trying to get rid of everything that's the last little bitty flaws that are in there we'll get it um, so I'm gonna cut this video off right here I think we've we've covered uh, as much as we need to uh, and all the parts that we need to so uh, we're gonna pick it back up or I'm gonna I'm gonna coordinate the high bill primer uh, into the painting so I'm just gonna go right from high bill primer sanding uh, seal coat get that on and then write the color and clear uh, so with that said we're gonna wrap this up right now uh, like subscribe all those things uh, you guys have been doing a great job getting lots of uh, sub subscribers also getting lots of comments I love that thank you guys uh you know good the bad i don't care it doesn't matter just bring them i'll read them and respond if necessary so uh one other thing uh, i've got a facebook uh started up for this and that's a great place for you guys to go you're going to get some behind the scenes type of things 
there's some stuff posted in there about uh, we're working on the, the shading of our color right now so you'll get to see what color this thing's gonna be uh, you'll also get to see the process of how I'm trying to play with the tint of the color to get what I'm looking for uh, the other thing is uh, the seats I, I, I've started working with uh, a company and you'll see it in there with uh, you know what color seats I want to use and all that so you're gonna get some uh, you know some things ahead of time you're gonna see kind of the process what we're doing behind the scenes to get ready for those things when they come uh, so go there and you'll get to see all those things all right I think that's it appreciate it and I will see you guys uh, on the next video coming out soon so bye